Welcome to One and All. Today we are going to see seminar on the topic Pentium Microprocessor. First, let's get started with the features of it. The Pentium Microprocessor was introduced in the year 1933. The operation of it is same as the 80386 and 80486 microprocessor, but a small change is that it has a dual cache and dual integer unit. It is a 16-bit data bus, whereas the 80486 are 8-bit. This processor has a higher clock speed of 66 megahertz. These are some of the differences between the 80486 and the Pentium processor. Now let's see about Superscalar processor. The Pentium microprocessor is also called as Superscalar microprocessor as it is used to carry out multiple tasks. It contains the system memory management, SMM, mode has been added to the Pentium which is used to monitor the full activities of the system. It is intended for high-level system functions, such as power management and security. The built-in self-test, BIST, is used, which is that when power is first applied to the system, it tests all the activities from the start till the end. This processor allows 4 megabyte memory pages instead of the 4K byte pages, as in 80486 Complex Instruction Set Computer CSE Architecture, with reduced instruction, set, computer, risk, performance are employed. During execution, a method of pipelining is used, which is, it allows the process to overlap without any disturbances, thus saving time to execute a program. It has two separate 8QB cache, as said before, as it has dual cache, one for instruction and one for data. When data is modified, only the data in the cache is changed. Memory data is changed only when the Pentium processor replaces the data in the cache with a different set of data. The processor has two primary operating modes. They are protected mode and real address mode. The protect mode is the one in which all instructions and architectural features are available, providing the highest performance and capability. But in real address mode, it creates the environment for us to write a program of the Intel 8086 microprocessor. In this real mode, there is an extra feature called as reset initialization, which is used to convert the real mode to protected mode. There are five process involved, namely fetch, decoder 1, decoder 2, execute, and write back. In fetch process, instructions are fetched from the instruction cache and aligned in prefetch buffers for decoding. In decode on instructions are decoded into the Pentium's internal instruction format. Branch prediction also takes place at this stage. In decode 2, same as above, and microcode ROM kicks in here, if necessary. Also, address computations take place at this stage, in execute process. The integer hardware executes the instruction, and finally in write back. The results of the computation are written back to the register file. Thank you.